Ha. You're welcome back to another lecture we are discussing today. Our topic now is Aspamia. I know many of us have not heard about this before. It is actually a condition that is related to the male reproductive organ. It is found in men and not women. And you know, a man that is suffering from this disease will not ejaculate even a drop of semen. Though, when they are having sex, they can reach orgasm. That doesn't disturb them from reaching orgasm. But they won't ejaculate even a drop of semen. However, men with aspamia can, you know, I've told you they can reach a orgasm. When it occurs, when men run out of semen cells, or when they ejaculate in the bladder, men can suffer from can suffer from this condition due to psychological issues or due to a problem with the reproductive system. You no, know, it can be from birth and it can be acquired. There are some common causes of aspamia. There's um, retrograde ejaculation. You know, in this condition, when a man is having sex, when a man reach orgasm, the semen is pushed backwards instead of showing hope during ejaculation. You know, instead of a man releasing the, the, the semen, you know, it goes back. That's what we call, call retrograde ejaculation. The semen is pushed backwards instead of showing hope, instead of coming out during ejaculation. And there's another one that is obstruction of the ejaculatory dots. So this is the major cause of aspamia. In this, or both, these are the one I've mentioned before, the ejaculatory dots are blocked. And when both dots are blocked, it is called complete ejaculatory dot obstruction. This, I've told us, is the major cause of aspamia. When the ejaculatory dot is blocked. And on the other hand, when one of the ejaculatory dots is blocked, it is called partial obstruction of the ejaculatory dot. When it is both, we call it complete ejaculatory dot, or dot obstruction. And when it is only one that is blocked, it is called partial destruction of the ejaculatory dot. Then another, 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 another causes of aspermia is hormonal problems. You know, pituitary hormones are necessary for the production of sperm. So if if they are not released at all or released at low levels, then the testes will not produce sperm. Also, people people who take steroids or injections are more prone to these hormonal imbalances, which decrease sperm production. Then another one is testicular failure. This, this is the inability of the testes to produce sperm from their epithelium. It can actually happen at any stage. And it occurs when the testes lacks the cells that make up semen. So that's, that, that's when we say the testes are filled. Then there is another one that is varicocell. Varicocell is the, is the presence of dilated veins in the scrotum. You know, veins dilate when their blood does not flow properly from them. This further forms a pool of blood in the scrotum, which ultimately affects the rate of sperm production. Then there is another one that is genetic abnormality. You know, in a few cases, a genetic defect that, that arises due to abnormal adoption of chromosomes can do this. Plus, there are a few unexplained abnormalities that can do this. Then another one is therapeutic cancer. You know, people who have chemotherapy, that is cancer treatment, and people who have surgeries, 
can develop aspermia over time due to the side effects of the chemotherapy and the surgery. Then there is another one that is um, pesticide toxin exposure. Pesticide toxin exposure. Yes. In, a few, in a few cases, harmful toxins enter the system and cause a decrease in sperm production. Let me repeat this. I said in few cases, harmful toxins enters the system and cause a decrease in sperm production. You know, aspermia does not show any painful signs or symptoms. It does not give, you don't feel any pain. You don't have any symptom. The only way you can be informed of this ailment, of this condition, is during sex only. That is the only way you will get to know that you are suffering from aspermia. So when you know that you 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 are you had sex, you didn't release semen even after you have reached orgasm. It is better to go for checkup. Or if you're already going through this and you have been treating for a long time with no solution. You can visit us, you can call us or send message to us, either through text message or WhatsApp. Or, you, if, or if you want to speak with a doctor, you can get in touch with us through this number, 0810460-7130. And you can also visit us at our clinic, MB Holistic Care, at number 51, Abiodu Oshidia Street, Meron Agbadoja, Lagos, very close to Abulegba. So if you have any question concerning what we have discussed, you don't hesitate to send message. You can drop your question in the comment box. We'll answer you right away. And don't forget to share this lecture so that many people can benefit from it. You might be helping someone. So don't forget to like and share the lecture. And you can also follow us on our other social media platforms on Instagram, mbholistic underscore care, on um, Twitter at mbk. So you can follow us on our other social platforms, the one that you know that you're okay with. You can follow us. And if you have any further inquiries, you can call that number that have mentioned. See you next time. Bye.